All right, so the first cables I'm going to get sorted out are the SATA cables. Um, we'll start with our two solid state drives, which is going to be pretty straightforward. There's one. We'll go out this route. There's two. We'll also go the same route with that one. All right. And then once I figure out the layout with these cables, I'm going to go around the back side and show you how we're going to tie everything together. For now, I'm just getting these suckers figured out. get all these cables out of the way. Okay. Well, I like to get all this kind of stuff in first because more often than not, if anything's going to go wrong with your computer, it's most likely going to be the power supply. So that is kind of the last thing I like to put in because I've made the mistake before where everything's great, your power supply goes bad, and you put that sucker in first, and now you are stuck having to undo every little zip tie you ever put in there just to get the damn power supply out. And I'm not having that. All right, so this is going to be our scratch drive. This is drive one. So we're going to do that, power drive 1 and 0. And 0 is going to be our C drive. Actually, so let's go this route. There's our OCZ. There's our Samsung. All right. And I'm just doing this so I don't have to worry about it later. We're still going to come in and clean up all the all the cables, but I have to know how much slack I'm going to be working with. Right, there's one. Here's two. These are for our actual four terabyte hard drives. And these should be pretty straightforward. Go ahead and do them the same way. You're going to want to put the bottom one on first, or you'll never get it in. So there's one. And here is two. Okay. Go ahead and, uh, and get all that slack out now. Like I said, we'll be tightening up everything afterwards. We'll move the camera to the other side. And you can watch me do the cable management portion of it. All right, so our hard drives are plugged in. I think it's time to do the jumpers.